Hello, hello YouTube, my name is Mel from Mel's Paper Mix. I'm a 24 year old cash stuffer here on YouTube. And today I'm going to be condensing my bills for April week four. And it, this is really exciting because I did hit my $10,000 emergency fund goal. I don't have a placeholder. I don't have one made for 10,000. I only have 5,000. So I will be making that. Um, but I'm just really excited because I just want I don't know, I'm really excited that I hit $10,000, but a little bit of background. Um, I was laid off from my engineering job in the beginning of March, and by the time I'm filming this, I have started my new job, and I'm very excited. And thankfully, I, w I didn't need to dip into my emergency fund, which is the first thing I am going to be condensing. I didn't need to dip into this just because I did have a bit of buffer in my bills, and then I had severance, and I had um, unemployment as well. But I used severance and unemployment to kind of speed up my process towards saving for my emergency fund. Also, if you are wanting, wanting to try budgeting and you kind of don't know what format is best for you, I have a few versions of a budget sheet linked in my description that brings you to a Google Drive, which you can then download and try out for yourself. I have an actual budget sheet breakdown. I have transaction logs, a bill breakdown, a week by week, and then a quarter overview. And then I also have savings challenges. If you already have a layout that works great for you, that's totally fine. If it works for you, that is totally great. Um, but I still wanted to give something um, to those people and I have savings challenges on there as well. Those are to celebrate my thousand subscribers. Um, and if you are also a budgeting channel, please leave me a comment down below so that I can check out your channel and hopefully other people can check out your channel too. Okay, starting with the big one, my emergency fund. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, how it? 800, 9,800, 859, 950, 10,000, and $10. So obviously I'll leave that $10 here. I might move it to somewhere else, but for now I'm gonna leave it as is. This is 5,000 in placeholders and in bills. I do sell these placeholders on my um, Etsy shop, but I kinda need to move things around. I need that $5,000 slip. So now I have $10,000 and I will be swapping this out for a $10,000 placeholder once I make that slip. And now this is really thin, which is totally fine. And let's put some of these placeholders away. I hope you are all doing really good. The weather is starting to warm up it's getting very rainy but it also is getting like there's so much pollen in the air right now but that's totally fine but yeah i started my new work my new job it's going great so far um and i'm really excited to budget the next video is going to be a budget um but i don't have the paycheck for it yet um, i have a general idea but um, when I budget it, it's going to be a little bit different, but more information will come out when I actually do the budget. Medical has one, two, three, 350, 7, 370, 390, 410, 30, 40, 50, 65. I don't think I did that right. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Let's put these down and just grab 100. 20, 30, 40, wait, 35. Okay. One, two, three, four, four, fifty. Wait a minute. I am so sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I need that 50. 450, 470, 485. Oh my goodness. I do apologize for that. I promise the whole video is not going to be like this. I promise. Okay, next is my future pet. Let's see what we can do. 50, 50, 100, 200, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. We'll leave a five and just swap these. I don't have a pet right now just because I'm not in the financial position 
to have a pet. I don't have a 50 placeholder. I'll put a regular 50 in here for now, a cash 50. And then if we happen upon a $50 placeholder, I will swap those out. Extra week, I think these are all in 20s and I don't wanna do anything here. And I wanna keep these as is. Jim, I believe has some, has a dollar bill that I can take out. And this has $60, so I can't do anything there. And I will put this $1 here. And this will go towards my $1 savings challenge. Memberships, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I just need a 10. 2035, perfect. And then this is my unlabeled Roth IRA envelope. And I'm gonna take everything out and put it to, into my Roth IRA, which I'm very excited for. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, and 160. So I'm gonna put this here, but I will make a note on my iPad that I'm putting 160 off for my Roth IRA. So this will be empty for the next month. And my goal for the year for my Roth IRA is to put $500 towards it. And it looks like I will be surpassing that goal. Next is my sinking funds. Okay, let's see what we can do. You know what, actually, we're gonna do things a little out of order and we're gonna do my big binder. Okay, we're just gonna do my big binder just because I don't have any tens at all. Okay, we have my car. I did pull a little bit from here because I needed to get a uh, key fob battery. So 500, 600, 650, 670, 690, 710, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, and 57. I'll pull these $2 out for the $1 savings challenge. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. Yes, 100. I'll just get a 100 placeholder. I believe... This is it. Five, six, seven, fifty-five. Seven fifty-five. Car deductible, fully funded, can't do anything there. Car registration has nothing. And then let's see what we can do in insurance. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. Take those out. So 115, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. 100, 5, 10, 15, perfect. So I'll just put down that. Swap these for a 100. I wanna put the nice fives in the front. Cause so I did get some nice fives from the ATM ones and I wanna put them in the envelopes if I can. Oh wow, that is so much thinner. Very nice, very, very nice. Next is my friend's wedding. She's going to be getting married at the end of summer. This is what the envelopes look like. I don't think I can condense very much. Can't do anything here. Fully funded, fully funded, fully funded. Events, 150, I can pull these out. 100, 20, 40, 50, put in a fully funded slip. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. I have hundreds at the back. Okay. We'll put this in here for fully funded for events. Beauty appointments is also fully funded at 200. 100, 150, 70, 80, 90, 200. Oh, cool. And we got a $50 placeholder. Very nice. Got a fully funded slip in here as well. And beauty appointments are for like nails, hair, makeup, and I wanna plan on doing them all by myself, but you never know what could happen. So that goes in here. Travel, since I am going to be flying for my friend's wedding, 
um, because it's basically across the country. Um, I thought, why don't I make a vacation out of it? Pre-trip is fully funded. Housing is fully funded. So is rental car, but food and drinks. I've been working on this category for a while, but now this is fully funded at one, two, three hundred, three fifty, four hundred, four fifty. And I can put a fully funded slip in here as well. Um, I might pause the video a little bit because there's a little, oh, it's gone. Okay, 50, 450 in here. And then parking and gas, I can condense this down. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I'll leave the cool 10 and get a $50 placeholder. All right, put that in parking and gas. Okay, so making some good progress with travel, which is always really nice. And then this is a, another big one. This is my moving envelope. I've decided to extend my lease just a little bit to give me a bit more time to figure out if I do want to stay at my current apartment or if I want to move to another apartment. The reason why I've given myself a little bit more time, the rent is the same. However, um, I did go through unemployment and I was too focused on that to decide. Um, and I just don't wanna do that. So safety deposit um, is fully funded at 800. Moving cost is fully funded at 200. I hope the noise isn't too bad. Um, but I, yeah, I'm just going to keep on going. I hope it isn't too bad. Um, I'm going to get a fully funded for here. And then electric. Oh no, I need another fully, fully funded slip. You know what? I'm going to check if I have another one and I will be right back. Okay, the sound isn't too bad now. I believe they have turned the corner. I had to wait a little bit, but I did find another fully funded slip. We have 50, 100, 20, 40, and 50. I can put these down and get the fully funded slip to go into here. And now that I've extended my lease, I can work. Uh, I have a little bit more time when it comes to this, which is really nice. And then I have $80 in miscellaneous, and I'm only just gonna swap the 50 for a placeholder so still 80 in here but just $50 as a placeholder and that is it for my um my big binder my grouping binder as I call it and I can put this aside it feels a lot thinner than it normally is and I'm just gonna go back to my savings binder I'm gonna hustle just a little bit because I don't want them to turn the corner again and the noise is really loud. Oh, shoot. Okay, who'd have thunk that as soon as you started talking that it would bring it back up? Maybe it's because I mentioned it, but I'm gonna take out that $50 bill and put in a placeholder for future pet so I can bring that to the bank because I was waiting on a placeholder. And now I am going to try to speed through my sinking funds. Um, okay. Clothing has $100, and I can't do anything there. Family, 20, 10, 20, 25, 30, 32, $2 are going out. Swap these for 20. Okay, Christmas has 260, but it's fully condensed. Apartment has 150, which is fully funded. Bulk food, 10, 15, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, not anymore. Just swap these out for a 10. So 115 in bulk food. Next is gifts. I don't believe I can do anything here. 20, 40, 60, 85. Um, I am going to keep this as is. Or... Hmm. No, I will put 50 in the bank just because I have a placeholder. So 85 in here, 50, 70, 85 in gifts, dates, 20, 30, 35, 40, $40 in here. Now it's in 20s. 
Next is projects, but I'm only gonna take out those $1 bills. Now I'm left with only five. And then next is my Etsy, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Pretty standard. Next is my spending envelope. This is pretty thick. Okay, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll take out two ones, but I'm gonna condense the ones into a five. And then I believe I have, do you want 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 105. And I'll just put these into the bank as well. Oh man, now I'll just get a hundred. So 105 for spending. Oh my goodness, they start and stop. And I know they're just doing their job. I'm just really, I'm just getting really annoyed. So I apologize. Um, toiletries has 30. 30. And then household has 35 and you can't condense that. And then we can condense this one, which is, this is my race ticket, my savings challenge for a uh, race ticket. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. I'm gonna do 40, I'm gonna keep the eight, but I'm just gonna condense these two tens for a 20. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna take out these ones because each icon is representing $8. So I'm not gonna take out the ones in here or condense any of the ones either. So we are done with that. Before I forget, I'm going to do my $1 into my $1 savings challenge because I always forget to do this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and $14 going in here and I opened it correctly this time. So a good amount going in here. And now I can count how many bills I have going to the bank minus 160 because that is going into my Roth IRA. So in total we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300. What am I doing? Not setting these aside. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. 100. So this is 500 right here. And I'm just going to make this into one nice, neat little stack. 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 60, 80. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. 700. 20, 40, 60, 80. 800. 20, 40, 60, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 950, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000. Ooh, nice. 1,000. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 in total. For that stack, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, wait a minute, these are 10s, Mel, these are 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 200, 1,200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 1,210 dollars with a lot of distractions, but I hope that is okay with everyone. This is a pretty good amount to still bring back to the bank, 1,210 dollars, but reminder that there are $160 going into my Roth IRA. I have fully funded my emergency fund to $10,000 and I 
cannot be more excited. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you all have a great day. I apologize for the distractions once again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!